All right, so what we have here is the Antec custom-built computer case. Um, I have two of them. One is on the bottom of this case, and it is 100% true that the other power supply in the case below this one is dead. But I don't know about the hard drive, though, and I don't know how long the computer's been running like that with a busted uh, power supply. Who knows, it might have shorted out the hard drive or the optical drive or probably the entire thing. Who knows? So, this hard drive was from the case below with a busted power supply. And that power supply is a replacement one, but that one is also dead. Um, it came from this machine down here. Sorry, it's a little bit dark in here, but I just want to make a quick video. Um, this was my sister's computer, and the power supply also died in this one. Wonderful. I gotta buy two power supplies for two computers. Just great. So, anyway, I want to see if this hard drive works. I'm not even sure if it does. Um, there's about 2 gigs of RAM in this machine now. It used to be 512 megs of RAM. So, not much more than that. So I'm going to hook it up, and plug it in, and find out whether or not it works. I hope it didn't fry it. I can't even get it in the damn plug. Um, I, didn't, I don't think I have it plugged in right. Hold on. Oh yeah, that's right. I didn't even push the power button. Okay. I hope this hard drive doesn't blow up on me, because that's the last thing I need. Um. <clears throat> so, anyway. I don't know if it's going to blow. Uh-oh. That hard drive is totally fucked. Yeah, it is. <laughs> oh my. <coughs> that. That's really bad. <sighs> I gotta open the window. Air it out in here. Don't worry, I didn't spray it in the computer. I'm just trying to spray it in different areas because that really smells. Well, that sucks. A 120 gigabyte Seagate Barracuda hard drive dies. Well, I'm assuming that the optical drive and the other stuff in the other case is probably dead. I don't think the RAM is dead. I'm not too sure about that. Um, uh oh. I hope I didn't kill it. Oh no, I did. So yeah. Um, it's probably still gonna smoke for sure. Nope, it's done smoking. Okay. Well. I am going to... take the hard drive out and examine it and see where the burning was actually starting. Obviously, the circuit board is shot. 
or probably shorted out, I don't know. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this plate off and take a look at it. I wonder if I can still get any um, any warranty on it still. It says five year warranty and I'm not sure if that has expired yet. All I have to do is go on C Seagate.com and type in the service number and it will tell me whether or not if the drive is out of warranty or if it still is um, still has warranty on it. Okay, screwdriver. Oh, right next to me. I bet you guys are liking all of these new videos. Got it, it smells like burning microchips in here. The smell is not pleasant. I can tell you that for sure. Okay. Oh, ho, ho. that's where it was starting. Holy shit. I don't know what the hell that was. Oh, and it was also burning there, too. Jesus. Holy mother of God. Now that is a cooked hard drive circuit, bo uh, circuit board. Oh. Yeah, just touching it, it just starts to flake off. Wow. I did not expect that at all. That is something else. So, it was smoldering in two places near the spindle mo motor, and I believe this is the head chip or something. I could be wrong, but this is usually the chip that overheats a lot on the old Maxtor hard drives, uh, or quantum hard drives. Every time when you put your thumb on it, it causes it to freak out. Yeah, she was a cooking. There ain't no more. I might have to wash my hands. I don't even know if that was acid or anything on it. Probably not. I don't know if that chip right here used to look like that round looking thing. But, anyway. I have another hard drive identical to it, which does work. Um, let's take a look at it. Screwdriver. Um, oh, it's right there. God, it still stinks in here. Well, aren't you glad I got that on video? I have a smoldering hard drive. Sure, the power supply didn't blow up in my previous video, but the hard drive sure went out with a lot of smoke. What I'm trying to do is, I'm trying to get all these SATA drives together. I'm trying to have this machine set up as a, a storage server. Sure, 120 gigs isn't much as it used to be, but hey, it's something. It's better than having 40 gig drives in here. Let's take a look at this drive. Okay, so the chip is obviously a square chip. Compared to that, there's nothing left of it. Um, this processor chip here used to look like that. But it no longer does. I don't know if the hard drive itself had a short in it, or if it was just the circuit board. But, um, 
Yeah. Such a shame, because I thought this drive worked, but... Nope, it must have... been destroyed from the power supply, or it must have... died of natural causes. God only knows. Oh, great. But, anyway. Oh, yeah, that is acid coming out. Okay. I gotta wash my hands now. Oh, yeah, that is starting to burn. Holy shit. But, yeah, that is definitely some liquid coming out from where that chip was. <sighs> Damn it. Now I gotta wash my hands. Get the chemicals off. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Sorry the video was dark, but, you know, it was just something quick. I didn't think it'd go out that fast. And I didn't even plan it, you know, I just wanted to see if it worked, but... I might as well start testing out the optical drive and floppy drive and see if they work, because the hard drive is dead. God only knows, those two might be dead as well. So anyway, thanks for watching.